Hi guys, I'm Tony David and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to introduce Mr. Rick Omar, a legendary drummer in Malaysia and has played with many different bands and artists. He was also the drummer for the late Allah Yarham Sudirman Haji Arshad. In this video, Rick is going to share his thoughts about Alpha Drumworks drumsticks. So hope you'll find this video useful. I'm here to share my thoughts on Alpha Drumworks drumsticks. Hi, I'm Rick Omar, and I've been playing drums for a long time. If you consider 50 years, it's a long time. Okay, the first thing that I notice is the quality with a high level of precision. Okay, this is the Tony David signature stick, the one that I normally use. This is a perfect example of the balance. Well, talking about design, they come in different colors and different configurations. Okay, um, Alpha Drumworks, they make sticks in uh, different sizes and weights, uh, ranging from uh, 7A all the way up to probably to 2A. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the different tip configurations. Okay, first, let's start with the standard tip. It's a wood tip configured to give maximum contact on your playing surface. What I find when striking a cymbal is that it projects the mid-range frequencies. And then we're coming to the uh, round tip configuration. Um, I find that this design uh, makes minimum contact with the playing surface. Therefore, I think it's very, very useful if volume control is, uh, is a requirement. Uh, because uh, I think um, it uh, actually muffles the uh, mid-range and uh, high frequencies quite a bit. Okay, next up is the uh, nylon tip configuration. This is a, a teardrop shaped tip. And um, I find that uh, it uh, projects the high frequencies really well. Okay, finally, let's talk about uh, hot rods. Uh, normally, I will use these um, if the uh, situation requires me to play ultra soft. Uh, typically, uh, an acoustic situation. And I think because um, it uh, cuts off um, uh, a lot of the um, uh, high mid mid range volume, uh, it uh, it is very useful.
Okay, the pair that I'm holding in my hands is a Tony David signature stick. And the pair that uh, I usually play is 5B. I like it because uh, of the uh, rubber coating on the grip handle. It actually stops, stops it from slipping out of my hand most of the time. Well now, how to determine which size of stick to use? Well, that is a very subjective question, you know. I think um, you have to consider that um, the heavier the stick, the uh, more forceful the impact is going to be. So I would use, let's say, a 2B stick or a 2A stick if I'm playing in a very large arena. And I would uh, consider volume and tone to be uh, the criteria. Um, generally, I think for mid-range, uh, uh, for everyday use, I, I, I'll go with the 5A. I can use that in a, in a medium-sized uh, setting, uh, medium-sized stage, or a, a large-sized stage. I can get away with the 5A. 7A, I think uh, I'll, I'll probably use it in a... Uh, in a jazz setting, um, and I think uh, if I'm playing to a, uh, to a more acoustic uh, kind of a, a jazz jazz setup, uh, I'd probably go for a 7A. But it's entirely up to you, you know. The difference in size, I think I can uh, sum it up like this, you know, it's, uh, it's like hitting something with a, with a chopstick and hitting something with a baseball bat. Probably as simple as that. Okay, you may ask why I have agreed to speak about Alpha Drumworks drumsticks. No, they did not pay me to do this. But when you look around at the price of most branded drumsticks, they range from 50 ringgit to 70 ringgit per pair. For the same quality or better, I can get a pair of these for less than 50 ringgit. It just makes perfect sense. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned something out of this. This channel is dedicated to teach, share and playing drums. Please consider subscribing to this channel and leave your comments if you have any questions. Thank you Mr. Rick and see you guys in the next video.